Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I will show you step by step process how we can easily use just HR. Now when you enter uh, your account details and you will create account, you will end up here in your dashboard. When you will see on the right side, you can see you've completed zero out of three account setup tasks. Just click here, get started. Let's go that way. First thing first, what we need to do is to create a job or invite a team. So we can click here, create a job. Now here we're going to see the essentials as a job title. So let's say that I'm going to uh, have a designer. So job title, designer, digital designer. Now digital designer, here we go. Employment type is going to be full time. Again, you can choose which one you actually want. Then select a minimum experience. We can go with an entry level, middle level, student, experience, manager, supervisor, executive, senior executive here. So let's say entry level. Now we're going to see the recruiting workflow template. So this is the template how it will go. And then job description. When you're going to have like the job description, you can insert like from here. So let's say I will write design and graphic designer, insert description. And here we go. So it's going to automatically create a description for your position. And you can simply choose uh, what you want, right? So requirements about, and you can edit the description as much as you want. And then we have a location here. So we can go Florida. And then So then we can go like whatever country I want, Venezuela. Completely up to you. Then when you have it, Wait a second, I will just write company. So all we have to do is like edit these. Okay, when I'm going to... This is a job for you. You would have like description here. I just want to continue tutorial. You would have location. Then you have like see advanced options. Uh, you get like department, business, unit, internal job code, seller range. You can add here like let's say a 1000 to or like let's say 100k to 150k annually, monthly, weekly, daily, hourly. Completely up to you. Then you get like sensitive data here. It's a section visible to admins. You can get like a story range. So let's say that we have the range, but we can go above 170K if we want to. Uh, so that's something you can do. Then we're going to see the internal notes that I would add for my uh, people. So that's something you can do. And it's really important to have the sensitive data here and it can be really useful for your future. So you can have like federal contractor here. And then we're going to see the short comparing description to help the candidates find your job through the search engine, engine, character page, career page, public search, free job syndication. Again, you can have it yes or no. And then you can simply click create a job. Now, when we have it and we have the post, we have application here. So Customize the application that candidates will complete when they apply. Now we see right here that we're going to see the first name, last name, email address, phone, resume, address. Uh, you can also edit. And you can see right here. That you can edit more. So referral references, languages spoken. Let's say that I would be adding someone. Mm, that I need with a multi-language skills, safe changes, and voila, here we go. 
And then when you're going to scroll down, you can also create a questionnaire. So that's something you can do. And then we have like these questions here. If you're a federal contractor, etc. So you can also create a questionnaire. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Name digital designer questionnaire, create it, and then add a question. So we can have like how many years of experience you have. Answer type, I can go, let's say, number, drop down, single line text, check boxes. One, two, three, four, five. And that's something you can do. And I can simply add a new question if I want to. So this is how it's going to look like. Then I can simply preview it. See how it looks like. That's what you can do. And when we go further, next is a workflow. Again, this is what we have default one. You can create a new one if you want to. Like, what is the workflow for uh, posting theme? In theme, you can easily an, add a team member. So you can add a team member right here. Refer. You can have like referrals. Referrals here, advertise, and that's something you can do too. For many of them, if you're from the US, you can use that. So that's what you can do. And then these are the jobs, right? So as you can see, we have the digital designer job here. On the right side, you can simply filter the jobs. You can view live posting, upload candidates, advertise job, create a task, edit a job, clone job, delete job. When I'm going to click here, create a task, you can assign it to someone in your organization. What the task is going to be about, due date, notes and details. Then when I click on a dashboard, you will be able to see your open jobs here, interviews, latest activity. Then when I'm going to click here on the candidates, here you will be able to see candidates and you can simply add a candidate by yourself. So yes, uh, you can drag a resume file here. You will get a candidate on your like database if they're going to actually fill out the form for a job. So that's something you can keep in mind. And then you're like reporting here. So yep, yeah. and settings. In reporting, you are able to see all the reports and settings like about everything. So this was like a quick overview how we can use the just HR. I hope it was useful in some way that you know what to do. And yeah, thank you very much guys for watching. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.